Welcome back, my friends. This is uh, Vigor Warrior again, and we're going to have another episode. Um, trying to get out of the sun here. Sorry, guys. Uh, today, we're going to go focus on the second question. My friend Shab, who had a great question, a couple questions. We focused the first question on energy and how people lose and um, you know transfer energy. Now we're going to talk about a question that he had about people and on promiscuity, people who end up having a lot of intercourse, a lot of different uh, things that they they do, and how why do they seem like they're kind of dead uh, and seem like that they're not really that you know strong in their soul and spirit. And their energy level is really kind of low. Well, there's a reason, obviously, for that. And let's kind of talk about that a little bit. So as you look at those type of things, the key is, once again, and going back to some of the physics type of laws that we talked about, is that you cannot really destroy energy, but you can transfer energy and lose it. And what ends up happening with a lot of people, and this is the same for men and women, when they, when they have a lot of intercourse and they do a lot of those type of things, uh, they end up, in my mind at least, they end up losing a lot of their energy. And so when you see people doing this, and they do this with multiple partners all the time, they can become very dead, both physically, not, you know, since physically, I'm not talking about that they get run down because people in their 20s, you know, they have a long life to live. But you can see people who are exhausted, and you can see people who on a daily basis become a lot more weaker uh, because of that. That's why in, in athletics, and we'll talk about this in another video, talking about sports performance, but we talk about this in, in sports, uh, and I've had coaches do this, say don't have any intercourse, don't have anything uh, days before an actual type of sporting event, because you want to save your energy, you want to lose your energy, and you want to become someone who is all weaker when you have to perform well on the uh, sports field, and the, uh, the, in my case, the football field. I remember stories with a lot of boxers, Muhammad Ali, um, you know, Mike Tyson, talking about how Tyson, I think, went for five years. And I remember a lot of the fights that he had. He was a beast. And I, that doesn't surprise me, right? Because the energy he kept within him, he was able to transfu transmute that and move it into something more constructive. Now, we're going to talk about those things as well. I've kind of gone off a little bit of course on my plan on some of the videos because I want to just kind of answer some questions and, and thanks again, Shap, for this. And before I forget, go ahead and uh, please uh, comment and, and like and uh, subscribe to our channel if you like this. But the idea that we're talking about here is focusing on why do people seem like they're dead because of promiscuity and trying to do intercourse and having multiple partners and things like that. And this applies to both men and women. In a male's case, certainly, I think that, and which is obviously something I know more about, the idea basically is that you're losing energy every time you do something, especially uh, if you're not able to control yourself with this type of situation. And that's why you have people, young people, having uh, dysfunction and different types of things. It's just incredible. But because you're doing this so often and people doing this, you know, um, and with people or without people several times a week, and, then, and that's going to, over time, kind of wear you down. And so the people who have, you know, who do a lot of this, both males and females, you're going you're gonna to find yourself in a position where this is the only thing you focus on. And instead of using your energy to achieve goals and becoming successful and kind of doing things in society, all you're doing is focusing really on intercourse with people and doing this with multiple partners and things like that. And this is, once again, one of the problems in our society because we emphasize this so much. We do this for advertising, we do this with media. Uh, everything you're seeing right now focuses on having intercourse and sex with people all the time. And the thing is, you don't wanna buy into that because what you're doing is you're losing your energy. Now, of course, I'm not saying that if you have someone, a special person, those type of things you're, you're, you know, you're with, friend, you know, that's a whole different matter. But what I'm talking about is people who, like, like, like the question Shab asked me, when you have people who, uh, process, you know, they do it on a continuous basis, you know, they're doing it all the time, then they're going to kind of appear like they're done, unemotional. Because obviously when you do it a bunch of times, your emotion's not into it, it becomes just kind of an act you're doing, and you're not really kind of focusing on any kind of emotion and either enjoying it or not, it just depends, you know, on, on the person. But you're not at a point where you're actually going to go ahead and really kind of have any kind of emotion to it. And I think that's a big part of the problem we have. When people doing it so much, it doesn't become as important. 
And that's one of the reasons why then spiritually and within yourself, you become almost like dead. And that's the key thing when it comes to this whole situation. Now, on the other hand, I believe, since I've gone through this journey, it's 440 some days now, you're focusing on becoming more alive. And I haven't felt this alive for, for many, many years, right? When I started my issues back in the teens and things like that, uh, before then, I could remember the day when I felt like this, but that was you know, back when I was 10, 12 years old, right? And so the thing is, is that now I realize what had happened and it was many, many years of going back and forth and listening to what I thought was the right thing. And it's turned out to me at least being the wrong thing. And I think what you gotta do is kind of focus yourself on trying to say, you know, what is the right thing for you? Now, of course, you know, in certain situations, losing your energy, you know, is appropriate. Once again, I had said that, you know, if you're procreating and having a child, well, that's a whole different matter. But just to throw away your energy, like a lot of people do, on a continual basis when it comes to promiscuity and having intercourse with multiple partners, there's no reason why you can't become dead. And I think that was the question that he had asked, you know, why do people look dead, you know, with their energy and things like that after they've had intercourse and they have a lot of promiscuity, which means having a lot of, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of you know, uh, partners and sex and things like that. So the thing is, guys, is that you know, when you're focusing on this, realize that everything you're doing has a consequence, which is what I realized. And the idea is that you know, no matter what you're talking about, physically and mentally, you're invested in, in people. And whether it's at your workplace, whether it's you know, interpersonal types of things with people in, in general, you're gonna focus on a lot of things that become strong in you by using your energy. And in my mind, you know, now that I've got a study of brahmacharya and celibacy and I understand this, you know, from the church perspective, I realize that the practicality of this is unbelievable to me. Now, it's not that you're not going to ever use your energy again, but in my case, I love the journey because it's given me so many benefits and realizing that the happiness that I have and the fulfillment and peace that I have and the strength that I have comes from the fact that I'm not going ahead and you know, you know, having any kind of, you know, interactions, a lot of those type of things, whether it's, you know, with people or with, um, you know, pictures and images and things like that, which is my biggest, my, was my biggest issue. So, um, so anyway, that's the whole key to it, guys, is to kind of focus on looking at, if you see people like this, you'll notice that. And that's one of the things to notice in the battlefield. This is why I kind of call them vampires. You could also call them zombie you know, kind of energy suckers as well. But I use the word energy vampires because those people, they're losing all their energy. And they're going to continue to strive to try to get your energy because they want to replace that with something. And so the question then becomes, are you going to give their energy? Because you become weaker as you do that on a continual basis. Now, obviously, for a lot of you younger people, you're strong. Those type of things, you're going to be able to build it up. But when you get to my age, 60 years old plus, you're talking now about trying to conserve your energy and use it for ways that are very positive. And I believe in one of Napoleon Hill's books talking about the fact that a lot of successful men become successful between the ages of 40 and 60 and upwards because they are able then to figure out how to transmute that. Now it took me a little longer and I'm starting to do this more and more now. But the thing is you're learning how to transmute that energy and use it for positive purposes than just kind of give that energy away and not really have a purpose behind it, okay? So these are key issues, guys, something that you don't see or hear a lot about in society. We have a, a great uh, you know, number of people doing videos now on retention and uh, all those type of things, and I think it's important to recognize how important it is, but don't waste your energy on people or things that don't achieve your purpose, and I guess that's the bottom line. So. Once again, beware of those energy vampires and those dead zombie suckers running around, and you'll be okay. There's uh, my dog saying goodbye for the day. So guys, have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.